day everyone, I am Abel Galandes and my partner is Ms. Mario Spasa. For today's video presentation, we will be discussing Module 2, The Physiological Processes Affecting Crop Production, and our topic are the Translocation and Transpiration. What is transpiration? Transpiration is the process of water which is movement through a plant and its evaporation from area parts such as leaves, stem, and flowers. Water is necessary for plants but only a small amount of water taken up by the roots is used for growth and metabolism. Sabi dito, ang transpiration ay isang proseso ng kilusan ng tubig sa pamamagitan ng isang halaman at ang pagsingaw nito mula sa mga bahagi ng himpapawid tulad ng mga dahon, mga tangkay at mga bulaklak. Ang tubig ay kinakailangan para sa mga halaman ngunit lamang ng isang maliliit na halaga ng tubig sa ki na kinuha sa pamagitan ng mga ugat ay ginagamit para sa paglago nito at sa metabolismo nito. And we have three types of transpiration which are cuticular transpiration, lenticular transpiration, and stem stemotal transpiration. What is cuticular transpiration? Cuticular transpiration is loss of water it takes place directly through the cuticle of the lip epidermis. So, in some plants, this contributes about 5 to 10 percent of what the, of the water loss. Cuticular transpiration is the loss of water it takes place through lindocells, which are found in the stem trees and in some fruits. This stomatal transpiration is for loss of water it takes place through stomata which are found on leaves. The leaves is small, most plants have stomata on the lower surface, although certain species, especially grasses, have them both upper and lower surfaces. Stemotal transpiration can account for more than 90% of the water loss from plants. Next is, transpiration is, necessary, is called necessary evil. It, it, it is creates a polyp leaf in the stem. Absorption bars and roots takes more water. Need continuous apply supply of minerals and alas is regulates temperature. It is called necessary evil because it can result a in excessive loss of water from plants, as in periods of low relative humidity and high temperature. And worse, it can kill the plant. Plants need to call themselves for several reasons. We have seven factors that affect transpiration, which are solar radiation, temperature, relative humidity, wind, soil moisture availability, carbon dioxide concentration, and the last is plant adaptation. If the seven factors affect the rate of transpiration it can also affect water uptake by the plant if water is scarce or the roots are damaged a, a plant may melt or die if they lost too much water temperature is increased because evaporation and diffusion are faster at higher temperature humidity is decreased because diffusion of water vapor of, out of the leaf slows down if the leaf is alre already surrounded by most air. Wind speed it is increased because moving air removes water vapor, increasing the rate of diffusion of water vapor from the leaf. And the light intensity it is increased because the st the stemata open wider to allow more carbon dioxide into the leaf for photosynthesis. Good day, everyone. I'm here to discuss the translocation under module two: physiological progress affecting crop production. Translocation is the movement of sugar produced in photosynthesis to all other parts of the plant for respiration in the other processes. Ibig sabihin po nito, ang translocation ay isa pong proseso para madistribute ang sugar na naproduce ng photosynthesis sa lahat ng parts ng isang plants which is used for growth and maintenance. 
Also, translocation is to maintain metabolic activity. But the question is, what is metabolic activity? Metabolic activity, it is the side of life sustaining chemical transformations with the plant cell. It comprises all metabolic pathways that are essential to the plants. But what about multicellular plant? It is composed more than one cell with groups of cells differentiating to take on specialized functions. Example, maize and beans. Kinakailangan sa multicellular plant, yung water at in organic substances ay maabsorb sa pumamagitan ng roots na matransport sa leaves. There are two translocation system. First, the xylem. It forms vertical column that conducts water and mineral absorbed by the roots upward through the stem to the leaves. Meaning, through the xylem, the water and mineral nutrients is properly distributed to all parts of the plants. Second, the phloem. It is the vascular tissue in plants that conducts sugar and other metabolic products downward from the leaves to roots. Also, through phloem, it can transport to organic compounds made during photosynthesis and known as photosynthesis. As I've said, it can be downward from the leaves, but the upward movements from leaves to fruit organs also occurs. Meaning, xylem transports water and phloem transports food. There are movements of materials and living plants has been observed to occur in different ways, namely, first, ordinary diffusion which transport ions and molecules slowly. Second, cytoplasmic streaming, which transports molecules and ions within the cytoplasm at a considerably faster rate than diffusion. Third, mass flow translocation of material in the phloem. Fourth, very rapid upward movement of water and mineral nutrients through the xylem. Fifth, lateral transport of materials along the vascular rays gradually from sieve tubes into the combium tissue and xylem.